So right here on the front porch where the two puppies are fighting, we've got five two by four by 12 and two two by four by eight. If we look in the lawn cart, there are some power tools, chop saw, drill, extension cord, or some screws, speed square, glue. We're about to turn this lumber using those tools and these puppies into a pontoon boat, a 55 gallon drum pontoon boat. I'm excited. So here on the porch, I've got my chops all set up. I've got the board. This was the least straight out of the five 12 footers. I'm gonna cut it off six foot exactly. There's gonna be very little waste. I've got the weight bench waiting to catch the board. If you look in the background, the uh, mini tiny house, it's still in the yard. I should probably do another camping video. Let me know if you want me to do another camping video in the mini house. For now, let's get this board cut. There's the waist so far. What's that, a quarter inch? Okay, this will be the deck of the boat. We've cut one board, the 12 footer. There's a six foot board on this end. There's a six foot board on the other end. Uh, technically, it'll be 12 foot three by six foot wide. Now, this is just brainstorming out loud, but we could take this, put it on the ground, fill it with concrete, then we'd have a burnout pad for the S10. Okay, all four corners are put together. First, I put some glue in between, then I countersunk two screws. These are two and a half inch screws. They sink down into this board. And then I put on a brace. The brace has six screws. So all four corners are well put together. Up next, I've got the barrel sitting between two two befores, and it looks like about 16 and a half inches is what we're gonna need. So I'm gonna put a mark here, 16 and a half inches, on all four corners, and then we're gonna screw in these two two befores. Then it'll be time to strap on the barrels and put the decking on. By the way, the decking, I've got recycled boards that I got out of a dumpster. Deck boards out of the dumpster. And the screws that I put into these came out of those boards. Recycle and repurpose. So we'll call this the inner runner. This is the other 12 foot two before. I'm gonna glue it. Now the bottom two screws, we'll save those till we flip the frame over, make it just a little bit easier. So there's three more to go, then we can start with the barrels and the decking. So I just stood the frame up and I've got the screws in all the braces. I'm going to set it on the floor now, make it square and let the glue dry. Meanwhile, I've got to find more barrels. There's the bracing. And I can show you the reclaimed deck boards. And here is my reclaimed deck board collection. Maybe you remember my amphibious go-kart project? I'll leave a link at the end of this video. Uh, the problem is these are five foot long and the pontoon boat's gonna be six foot wide. We'll have to splice them. But it's gonna work out and I believe this might be enough to cover the whole boat. Fingers crossed. So this is what I've got so far. I've got them kind of laid out. I'm gonna space them out better, screw them down. I've got about six more boards that can go on. And that's going to leave about four feet open. Well, what I might do, leave the center open. Make like a swimming pool in the middle. Just trying to run some stuff through my brain right now. That'd make the boat a little bit lighter. I don't know. That's to be determined. We'll either cover the whole deck or leave some open. So I just came in from the hardware store. Anytime you see purple, that's 70% off. Coal lumber, 70% off. That's an 8-footer, and there are four 10-footers. And if there's any damage, it's only on one side. I'm only using one side of the board anyway. These are going to come in handy. So I'm out here at the deck, and it just so happens the deck is covered with deck boards. Now in the center, we had a big wooden spool, and it stayed there for about a year, and it made the boards rotten in the center. But the edges are still fine. So I'm thinking this little edge piece, which is longer than 20 inches, will work on the pontoon boat. I'm going to replace these six boards, and I will use these little edges on the boat. So now the rotten boards have been replaced. I was one short of all six boards, 
but this one was in fair shape so we're going to keep it and the only step left is to cut off the excess those four boards can go right on the pontoon boat so the deck boards have now had their hair cut and the cutoffs are up there on the pontoon boat so here are the boards that just got cut off it would be this board this board and these two little pieces these two you see here that's the two that the wasp nests were guarding so they're now on the boat and we've got four that have wheels on them let's go take the wheels off and get them onto the boat so I'm back at the deck board collection and there's two left and there's a huge wasp nest underneath that top one I think I'll kick it and run if you hear me screaming I probably got stung here goes <laughs> Yep, they're mad as a wasp nest. Here are some of the scraps that we saved from the deck. Cut off the rotted pieces. Rotted pieces went in the trash. And these are the four wheels we have to remove. We'll save those for a future project of who knows what. So think of a project for me for these wheels. Let me know what I can do with them. So here's where we are on the pontoon boat. The deck is mostly covered. I've got two big holes, compartments for say, life jackets, paddles, maybe a cooler drops in one. If I were to take one of these five foot boards and cut it up, I could fill in those two little sections and I've got them spaced out about a quarter inch piece. That would leave two compartments for carrying stuff. And I've got the hardware to put two doors on, four hinges and two handles. So that's where we are now. So this piece of plywood, this is a treated scrap of plywood. This is left over from the chunky boat, if you remember that project, which by the way I sold. The pontoon deck, I just ran the pressure washer over it. It looks a lot better. Just came back from town, picked up six 55 gallon drums. They're going right underneath the pontoon boat. We're gonna set these on the grass, then we'll set the frame on top of them, start securing them to the frame. Then we'll start putting the deck on getting close so I've just rinsed the barrels and made sure all the plugs are tight we're about to set the frame on look at that perfect so what I'm thinking is don't space them out when you're in the water kicking along, this is gonna be a flat spot to catch the water. These won't catch water. So I'm gonna leave them tucked up together. And I might do some overhang on the front because the back will have the kicker on. A little balance of weight, have a little front porch sticking off the front. It's time to strap it together. So I'm right here with the pontoon boat and I've got the six drums underneath it. And originally I was gonna go with a four on each side, eight total, but they wouldn't have fit if we slide all the way down to one end with the 12 foot boards there's about 23 inches so that would not have fit I'm glad I only bought six and each barrel is supposed to hold up 400 pounds so four times six that's 2400 pounds I only weigh 160 the boys about 100 pounds each I think it's gonna work out great up next I think I'm gonna find some shade to move this to I'm not into working in the full sun in July in Florida. So now the boat has been moved over to the shade. Next, I'm gonna put a board right in the center that holds these straight. If you look right now, the barrel's pushing it out. So it's six foot on this end. I'm gonna make the middle six foot also. Okay, for the first board, this is the center of the boat. I'm gonna put on some wood glue. And I've got some two inch screws. These are exterior decking screws. I'm gonna put those all the way across.
So to cut my plumbing strap, I hook it here, and then I drag it over, and I've got a mark. These straps are 61 and 3 quarter. I take my wire cutters and I cut it. So I've got five of the six barrels all strapped in, good and tight. I was going to show you this last barrel, how I do it, the whole process. Let me see if I can set the camera down. Now the good news about these barrels, it's got a lip on both ends. There's a lip on this end for your strap. There's a lip on this end for the strap. The barrel I had to begin with did not have a lip on both ends. I love these barrels. There were some white ones on sale. They didn't have lips on both ends. There were some pickle barrels on sale. They didn't have lips on either end. These are the right barrels for this job. Here's the boat standing up in the air, trying to make sure it's going to fit on the trailer. So the trailer is, I think, 75 inches wide, 75 and a half, and I believe the boat is going to fit. And so now the boat is on the trailer. It is touching on this side. If we go over to the other side, it's touching on this side. It's almost like this boat was made for this trailer. And that's probably where it's going to ride. If we put the boat motor on, it could hang over, right over, it could, it could go right between the U and the T on my tailgate. The homemade boat motor is now on the back of the pontoon boat. I don't know if that's going to be deep enough into the water. I do have a plate that lowers and lifts the motor. We may put that on here. And if we look over, I now have the chop saw. And this looks like a decking kit. These are the boards that we had on the boat. We're about to start cutting the length and screwing them on. So I'm here putting the deck on. And these three boards, that's going to be your seat when you're running the kicker. And then in front of that, there's going to be a box where you can put your feet in. Maybe you can put some supplies in there. That one may not have a lid. And then here on the side, I've got these small boards starting to go on. I had to custom cut with a table saw a notch for the barrel and a notch for the barrel. And we are screwing and gluing, moving right along. And for my spacers, I'm using the speed squares. Slide them down in between. Gives you about a quarter inch gap. So it's about to get dark and I've got the whole deck done. I've got four boards right here. Those four boards are going to make a door to go over that hole. The back hole is going to stay open for now. And now I've got a board laid up here and I marked a line. These boards are running wild. We're about to take a skill saw and trim them all off. And now we'll do the same thing on the other four corners. And the deck will be done. And then for this side, we're going to do a before and after. And I think I'm done for tonight. I want to build that door pretty bad, but it's getting kind of dark, getting kind of tired. I'm going to knock off. It is the very next day, and it's starting to look stormy, so I need to hurry up and get started on this boat. I think the very first thing I want to do is work on this door, make a little compartment. And the back compartment, I believe it's going to be big enough to hold the cooler. No door, cooler. My feet can go in there. So I'm trying to do an extreme budget build on this boat, but I saw this $2.50, $2.48, and I had to have it. It's going to go right there. But they only had one in stock. I have to get another one some other day. Right there. Let me move the camera so you can see it better. That tree's kind of messing up your view. There you go. And not only that, but the cat, no, not the cat, the door has been built. I've got a handle for the door, but I'm worried people will trip on it, so I think I'll just drill a hole that you stick your finger in to pick it up. That way you won't have a trip hazard on the deck of your boat. And 
we have made it to the river for the first test float. About to get wet. Oh, and if you didn't see this, I've got my number on the side. It's been registered. We are legal. For our test run, we're running five people. Let's see how it handles five of us. So I got the drive box open. It's got some cameras, some keys, some money, my phone. We've got the cookies open. And we decided to stop. We pulled over in this little cove in the shade. About ready to jump in that water. And I've decided the uh, small motor has got to go. It is too slow. And it has a really, really small gas tank. We got a noodle. Got a, kid float. a noodle and a kid float. Nice noodle too. <laughs> That is the color of the water. Tannic acid from the leaves makes the water brown. Looks like tea.